people don't know the system. Like, you told why you end up home. Yeah, I was going. That was another hard question. It's dumb <laughs> shit like that. I'm that glad I, you brought it up first. You feel me? It's like certain shit is like, bro. If ain't nobody like manning up and actually saying it to me, like coming to me, like, boy, you's a rat. If it's a fake page in a comment, or if it's like, how you get home? Or somebody assuming, like, how you get home so fast? They say they had five. Like, that shit don't really what you call me. As long as ain't nobody like putting a name on it, like, man, like, say if it's Jay Hill, you on your interview, like, man, school's a rat. Then I ain't got no problem, bro. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Oh, man. Here we go. Another one. Shout out to the gang, man. Shout out to the team. Seven here. T here. J Hill Podcast. You already know what time it is, man. Oh, you know, I, I, it's different when I go home. Straight up. It's different. Special guest in the building. YBS Scola is in this motherfucker. What up, dog? What's happening? Yo, uh. We've been trying to do this for a minute, man. So many months, weeks, and days, man. Bro, I think it's so many places to go. But before we get started, what I want to do is uh, I want to celebrate you, dog, for just years of doing your thing. Appreciate it. Um, you know, the world might not know yet. They know him. They going to know sooner than yeah, later. for sure. But for the niggas that know, we know. T, can we get that, man? Come on, man. Celebrate my guy, man. Come on, man. We're going to pop bottles, get some champagne in this motherfucker, take some toast. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, T. Appreciate it, dog. We're gonna, you want to pop this? You can pop it. You nah, pop? you can pop that I'm, I'm, I'm going to pop it. We're going to do this. This is, what real, this is what real niggas do, man. They celebrate each other. Straight up. A lot of niggas be scared to celebrate their, their people or even the niggas that they admire. Um, I want to congratulate you, too, man. Keep your shit going, man. You mean, I've been watching you from afar for a minute, and I've been saying the pro your shit progress. You curse on me, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, like, yeah. I've been seeing your shit progress, man. It's like, it's a good look for the city. Appreciate that. It's like your platform, how you doing it, how you going about it, just bringing the city with you. That's 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 true. I appreciate that, though. I wanted to, um, before we start, I don't know if you can see that, but I, I want to talk some shit today. Sure. I, I, can I do my job today? Sure. I, I just wanted to ask you that because, you know, sometimes this shit can get uncomfortable. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be real. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's a lot of things that, you know, niggas, I don't think you talked about publicly yet. Yeah. And there'd be a lot of little shit be going on. You know? I what you call some shit, but some shit I ain't on what you call. <laughs> said, uh, I talk about some shit. Yeah, I talk about anything. some shit. I talk about shit that got to do with me, but I ain't talking about nobody shit that got to do with nobody else. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, yeah. everything is really about you, for real. Facts. It's just some shit just might not be true. Some shit just might be like rumors and shit. Facts, but, facts. You know, I just, it's my job to, mm -hmm. I just ask the questions, bro. What's up? Here, dog. You can pour your own drink. <laughs> we celebrating. I brought. Listen, I bring, I bring you gifts and shit. I don't know too many niggas bringing niggas gifts and shit. Yeah, you feel me? Celebrating my nigga. All right, so uh, damn man, how, how how have you been? I feel like I could just start there. How have you been? How are you? Where you mental at? I'm good, man. I'm in a good space right now, for real. Like probably the best shape I ever been. To be honest with you. Why? Cause I wish I knew what I know now back then, but it's I still got time. Mm. It ain't like it's, it's it's still hope. You dig what I'm saying? But it's dudes that be having, be in the same situations as me, but can't learn from their mistakes. Mm. Niggas catch 10 years, niggas get killed. You feel what I'm saying? Just different trials and tribulations that you sometimes niggas can't, a, a nigga can't shake back from mm. that had some shit in reach of this. It's like, could have changed everybody's life. I feel like I still got that shit in reach of this. And it's more better now because what I know now, that I ain't know back then is I'm more focused, I'm more hands on, I'm more like disciplined. I got my eye on the prize right now. I feel like 
you know it's crazy that's the process of just growing up for us yeah men. growth we gotta, we gotta learn so much on our own facts as black men especially especially where we coming from you gotta learn that shit from experience yo it's crazy because you would think man we would be so much further in life in general in our careers whatever we just had somebody to teach us the way facts and that's what i want to be for real i want to be one of them pioneers that that make it where it's though and like all the young guys around me i want to be able to like make it a layup for them mm. something i ain't have so i mean that's a i mean an easy segue into like you know for the people who don't know you personally i feel like it's easy to look at you and think you did have somebody like that like we niggas from the city they look at your pops and they think like shit, he who it don't get more plugged in than that yeah but at the same token though i had to work Mm. I spent endless nights, endless hours, endless money of my own. Mm. There ain't nobody spend a dime on me. Nobody paid for no video for me. Nobody said, hey, this for your music video. You dig what I'm saying? So it was like for years since mm. I started it. I was on the front line investing in my career because I knew like at some point it'll, it'll get greater. I knew it'd get greater later, so it's like it was times I might spend a thousand dollars for a week straight on the studio, just blocking it off for the whole day. Damn, you feel what I'm saying that even with all relationships in the world, you still gotta do. I feel like it, it's it's like you certain stuff you still gotta do. Like you know, you got like I got a lot of relationships. I know a lot of people, but I still gotta work on my end. Clothes, you know what I mean? Like. You can have a you can have a, a billionaire in your family and you can have an investment that he might you, you might need five hundred thousand that you could turn a fifty million. That a billionaire ain't gonna give you the money if he don't like really probably see you actually besides just talking about it, putting footwork behind it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta work. Do you feel like at any given time you had you were trying to like prove to your pops that like, yo, I'm serious with this shit or No. I wasn't never trying to prove to nobody but me. I wasn't never trying to prove to nobody. Mm. I remember y'all had a conversation on um, IG Live uh, a couple years ago. It was a big thing. Um, mm. And I think, I don't know if it was a couple years, a year ago. Probably when I first came home, like two years ago. Yeah. When I first came home. And he was saying, um, one of the things he was saying was, bro, you don't really ask niggas for nothing. Like, even him, he was like, bro, you will do so much without without asking him and you know he got the research I was just curious why though why make it harder for yourself if you got somebody that can get you in these rooms easier I wouldn't say uh like make it harder for myself I wouldn't really feel like that make it harder I just be feeling like I mean in some cases I do what you call them like but see it depends it, it depends on the scenario and the person See, my father, I'm going to mention shit stuff to my father all day. Like, hey, see if you get somebody to do this, do this, do this. I'm going to do that with him all day. He talking about besides, like, him. Mm. He probably talking about, like, all this stuff like that. Like, people in positions that I could say, hey, can you do this for me? But I won't ask. I remember he said it was it was, it was was hard to get you to ask him for shit, too. He said, he was like, man, I don't even, you ain't even asked me for a lot. Facts. And I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm appreciative. And it's like, I'd rather just. I be taking stuff. I be taking matters in my own hands for real, and sometimes I be feeling like I got the blueprint. So it's like I don't need nothing. I got everything I really need. What's to come is what's gonna come from work. Like mm. when it once it pay off, I don't be really trying like at some stuff. Like I be feeling like I look at it like this. I look at it like progression. As long as I progress, it'll get it'll get easier. Mm. It'll get, it'll get, like, long as I just work smarter, it'll, it'll get easier for me. And man, by that being, by that being said, work. As long as I get some records, everybody be at my front door. Mm. Like, at one point, I had my father, what you come, I had a label, Atlanta Records, trying to get at me, but I had already told, made a, uh, agreed to something with me. So instead of me, like, Atlanta Records spent back through, I was going to go to Atlanta Records with Meek. So instead of me going around Meek straight to Atlantic like I could have, I still went went with Meek. Mm. And my label, my deal went to somebody else. And where they at in their career and where I'm at is like this. But I just I, don't, I just be like, it's a learning experience. So what you think you you were here and there there? 
No, they, they here. Are. I feel like they went here. Okay. And I job. I ain't. I job here. Yeah. Right. For sure. Cause like when you talking about like show prices and how much you getting for shows, I might save his ten thousand. He getting forty. Wait, what artist was that? I ain't gonna speak on the artist. I mean, I ain't like, gonna name drop. Okay. Okay. I was just curious because I don't know. What, did they sign with him or they signed with somebody else? They signed with Atlantic. Straight with Atlantic. They ain't Straight go with Atlantic. Me. Right. I feel like you know it's crazy. But was they did they have ties with Meek? Just curious. No, I, I asked. I only reason I asked that is because, bro, Meek then got fucked by f like few artists that he discovered, right? Put on facts, and he ain't reap nothing, nothing from it. The business gotta be straight. Damn, son, that shit crazy. Um, guy had a business straight. Do you what happened with that situation though? With man, the dream chasers, man, cuz our business was straight. Our shit was like, it wasn't no whole bunch of misunderstandings it was a six to nine month management that's it if i want to keep going i can if i don't i don't got to what makes you not want to uh continue with that i probably went way over the six to nine months but it just was a matter of me like i just took control back in my own hands took matters in my own hands for real it's crazy because you know like coming up right yeah and i don't know about in your shoes but i can only imagine we like yo when is when is me going to sign Scooter, when is Meek going to sign uh, Scola? When is he going to put these niggas on? He always reposting y'all. When is he going to put them on, right? Facts. And then you in a position where he manages you, and it's like, nah, bro, I just want to take back control of my what I got going on. I did it, and it's like, I ain't really feel no... I, 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 I grew in it for sure, met people for sure, but it wasn't nothing that I couldn't really do on my own, for real. Mm. Some stuff I couldn't do on my own, as far as the relationships probably wouldn't have been never, never in these rooms. But far as like day to day what I was doing, I really was still doing the same shit day to day that I was doing before I even did it. For the niggas that don't know, right? And they and they see it and they think is, yo, I get signed to Meek, I'm on, I'm good. Right. Explain to the artists that like how different it is being in it, being as far as versus being outside of it, looking inside of it. I mean, it just depends, like whatever you signing. You just gotta make sure that shit on that contract. Don't be so fast to sign. Have a good what you call with your lawyer. So at the end of the day, you won't get the shit into the stick. Cause it's like, I knew what it was and I signed up. Some of the artists, and I be saying, they signing different stuff. And years later, coming back like mad. But it's like, bro, you knew what it was when you signed up. So mm. I just say, be careful what you sign up for. You dig what I'm saying? Don't be so, don't be so fast to, the uh the sign with a nigga over verbal agreements or like just word of mouth whatever you sign just make sure whatever you ask for is on black and white so you can always have your have your what you call no i definitely want to cross your t's dot your eyes right, cross your t's dot your eyes but talk to me about like just some of the expectations going in and right not knowing like again man i want to be signed to meek i'm thinking if meek signed me then i'm lit i'm 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 out of here but in all reality, you still got to do the work. Talk to me about the some of the expectations that you had going in it versus the reality that you saw in it. Um, see, me, for real, it was almost like it was me at the end of the day because I really wasn't knowing what I know now. Mm. See, if I went and signed with somebody what I know now, it'd be a little bit different. I still was rushing back home. You dig what I'm saying? I still was rushing back to Baltimore. Let's talk about it. I might leave cuz. He might be like, shit, I might come from DR or something with cuz on the jet. It's like some shit, real life, life experience and change scenes and shit like, damn. But then when I get home, I mean, then once that's over, I go straight back home for like a month or two. And I ain't been productive. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like one thing about cuz, he live in the studio. I done jumped on a song with me and Quavo that never came out. You feel what I'm saying? One thing about Cuz, he definitely going like, he going he gonna to give you the opportunity. But he, like, Cuz the type, Meek the type nigga, he wants you to get the same way he got it. Mm. You got to grind. He ain't one of them type niggas like, yo, got it, giving a nigga 500000 You know what I mean? Uh, going viral on the internet. Cuz, he wants you work. Mm. As he should, though. Ain't nothing wrong with it. He wants you work. But, you know, as a young niggas signing with a millionaire, they probably thinking like the glamorous side. They forgetting about that. They probably thinking, shit, I know I'm ready to get a million, move my family out of this. I know I'm ready to get a million within a snap. It ain't always like that. Mm. Sometimes you still got to work. In my case was, I should have I should have been working harder than ever, for real. He already put me in the rooms. He already put me in conversation with this, that, this, that. 
I supposed to been working more than I was what I was doing. Mm. So it's kind of like you almost got complacent a little bit. It's like you kind of thought like I, I made it, Loki. Almost. You you get facts, fact. You get that. You you gonna have that once you see some niggas gonna have that because I already had money, but I ain't had money that day. These guys had right. So if I'm signing, and I'm already having on the jewelry and shit that I'm around the niggas that they just signed to get. I'm already like shit. I made it, so you job. Our job was like more relaxed and hungry. Mm. I might be times I'm in the studio just like for a whole day or something, whole night, and I might just been smoking, just really just like all ears and eyes instead of like, man, let me jump on head. You feel me? It's crazy hearing it come from you because I remember when um, that shit be a little what you call not to cut you off. No, but that shit be a little like like my first time making a song with Cuz. And I don't even write. I just be recording like like that. But it should be like, like you see that shit happen with Raw Wave and Drake recently. Just be like, mm-hmm. it just be that fright a little bit. Like, damn, it's the moment you waiting on. But then you just get like a little like, I don't know what you get a little shook up. Like me, I should get shook up once I get in the studio with niggas because I wasn't really like a rapper. It just happened. I was really just a, a hood dude with a talent. So I'm getting round dudes, and I'm like, these niggas really like, I'm really a rapper how they looking at me but my head i can't wait to get back home and do some other shit. this mm-hmm. shit be just like temporary like i just step out my shell and do this shit. so when i get in the studio sometimes they be like damn you feel me don't even be really like having the courage like to jump on or something going back and forth with cuz like right it ain't easy though yeah like, it ain't easy and i feel like it's i'm glad you was able to say that because on a level that we look at you especially from baltimore right like i mean i don't really get Bigger than, than Scola right now. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we got tech doing this thing, but we all know, like, where I don't want to say originated, but our culture, you know what I'm saying? Facts. We seen Scooter, Scola, like, that was like, damn, mm-hmm. these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I remember watching uh, when Meek had just came back home. I think he just got out of prison. He was doing a, the whole radio run in New York. He was doing yeah. freestyles on Flex. I was with him and shit. You sitting in the corner, and niggas yeah. is like, yo, that's, that's Scola right there. Yeah. And even doing that shit. See opportunities like that. Meek always like, boy, boy, you don't want to rap? Mm. On some flex shit. I'm like, hell no. I ain't freestyling straight like that. Because I done seen niggas fuck up and humiliate themselves. Right. And I only know how I freestyle. Right. I don't write, but it's like, if I ain't comfortable, I feel like I'm going to humiliate myself. I'm like, no, if I ain't fully like, I'm like, no, I ain't doing that shit because coming behind him, seeing him doing it, the being next to him, like, shit, you want to go next? Hell no. Yo, it's crazy not like hearing you say that. You don't write because I remember you, you you told a story about the first time you met Scooter. You met him. He had a, like a, a composition notebook with all of his rhymes in it. Yeah. And you would think because y'all was so close, you probably would have took some some of that from him. But it's like you never really wrote. No, I never knew. I, I never wrote. Why Why not? Like, was it something you just <coughs> didn't want to do? I just can't. I just tried this shit with so much time on my hands, so many different times. And it's just like, I just, it just ain't for me for real. Mm. I didn't been in prison and really sitting with hours of free time, just like, and it's like every time I go to the door, I don't really get nothing out of it. Mm. I didn't even been in a studio and then like try writing a song. And then I'm like, all right, bet, let me see how what I do if I didn't write. And it always be better what I don't write. Mm. I didn't try both ways for real, but it always be more like when it's organic art, when it's like just straight. Off the top, it always come off better and it feel better. Mm. Scooter was the type of artist like, he could write 10 songs and go to the studio and just straight do all them 10. That's the type of artist he was. Me, I got to get in there and I might take five hours, make one song back then. That's why I just book a whole day. If I don't can't get 10 hours, I ain't even going. Because my first five, I might just need to listen to different beats, smoke, and just vibe out and then make one hard ass song. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna make a song until I know it's a hard song. It's like, yeah, this one. Like I ain't just gonna make ten songs and not feel good about all ten. I make one song before I make ten. As mm. long as it's one that I feel like this is a good record. I mean, since we here, let's go ahead and talk about it. I feel like I feel like early, right? Well, you had getting money, yeah, um, shining. But I feel like Tell me the process of gaining the city support after school to pass. Because I feel like when he passed, 
it wasn't just automatically passed yeah. down to you. I feel like you had to earn that almost. It wasn't like just, okay, right. school to gone, niggas respect me, I'm here. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Too. It was like, work. It I, was still work. Talk to me about people, because people were so used to school, to, and it, it was an adjustment Facts. almost to, 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 to your music. And it was, it was some different. hard shoes to fill. Yeah. Because school to us is total different artists. He going to come from shit that he seen when he was 10 to when he was 12 to middle school to high school. I'm ain't really going to come like that. I'm going to come out with some shit going on right now with me and my niggas. The clothes we wearing, the jewelry. Exactly. I'm going to come with the lifestyle as in today. That, yo, I'm so glad you said that because I was just talking to your, your guy about that. I feel like what happens is like, you know, we hear these artists. Like we came up, we came up Boosie, Facts. shit, Gotti, Gucci, all of them. And when we was coming up, they were still grinding for real. So we love that pain music. Mm -hmm. It's a Baltimore thing, right? Like, yeah. and by the time you was making music seriously, you wasn't really, like you was grinding probably, but you was getting money. Facts. You feel like, like it, just, it was what it was. So it was different. Like you said, when Scooter's rapping, Scooter's rapping pain, he was getting money, but it was like, we can relate he to this pain. He wasn't getting the money. Yeah, he was getting money, but he was getting money from music. Mm. Saying you know music and get money from bought and you know getting money off of music in Baltimore is really like not really that it's much. Like, yeah, it's yeah. slim. We don't really got no odds that was getting twenty a show. Scooter might die probably getting like probably in between like three thousand to probably ten. Yeah. Like depending on what this like if it was a college like his highest check might his highest pay for a show probably was like while he was living probably was at least like a dime. Yeah. And that probably we had to go to another state at his peak. You feel Damn. me? And that was like right before he died type shit. So when you got a lifestyle to live up to and you, what you call me like, that shit going to cost. Mm. Studio time, your parents, just travel, that shit going to cost for real. Talk to me about trying to gain the city and the pressure and trying to fill those shoes. Was you ever trying to purposely fill the shoes and trying to make music to appeal to everybody? I was trying to make music appeal to everybody, but I wasn't never trying to fill his shoes because I knew that was something I couldn't do. Mm. I knew he rapped. He, he was like a real artist. Like, Scooter had a real talent for real. Like, when I think about Scooter, I think about Jay Coles and niggas that's Kendricks that's really lyrical and really can like, like, he ain't even really seen nothing yet. Mm. So just imagine if he was here like five years later and really like seeing shit and like, Stepping in these rooms, I've been in here a bit. His, his imagination have been on another level. Damn. And that's something I know for real. Because he'll probably go to L.A. one time and come back with a song that's a whole L.A. song that's like, damn. Like, we just did that. Now we hearing it. Like, like Shorty had it like that. You speak on the growth in yourself as an artist, right? And as a man, for real. And you were saying, yo, when I was had the situation with Dream Chasers and Meek, I would just kept going back home. Mm -hmm. I talked to a lot of Izzy, Chino, nigga, everybody in the city. I talked to them about the hold that the city got on niggas, but everybody just like, man, this home. No, I ain't on that shit. Talk to me about just understanding to be able to, of course, give back to your city, but yeah. getting away from it. See, I, I ain't gonna lie now, like, like, if I was the head guy, me and I was meek or something, I would have never went back home. Mm. Baltimore would have never seen me. I would have never got arrested in Baltimore for no handgun. Why not? Cause I, cause, cause, cause Baltimore was like a financial place. It was like Baltimore was almost almost like a place like where a nigga really knew how they nigga know if they go there they know how to make some money. See, I don't know. See. I can make money in other places, but not like I can make home. Like at that time, see, I'm only making money off music now. What I'm saying at that time, I knew besides music, I could make some money at home from Baltimore. So whatever I go to with Cuz Meek to do in Vegas for at least three I days, up. I fuck up twenty thousand. I might come home. Like I gotta put that back. Okay, you feel me? Like, and that's how I really was. Some next, when I, I what you call? And that means yeah, and that's how I was. So like, I'm rushing back home to replace shit. Mm. I wasn't rushing back home to lollygag or just being harm's way. I'm rushing back home to put back where the nigga just fucked up. Mm. You feel me? You know, like, I'm rushing back home to do that kind of shit. I'm buying clothes. I'm doing a little shit out of town. And, like, nigga got to replace that shit. Do you think, like, because this image thing is it's huge, right? Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. I feel like a lot of niggas that do got the image, it do help their career. Yeah, yeah I feel definitely. like it's, it's 
it's it's half the I think it's like it's part it's part of it. Right? Not for sure. And we but so curious. Of course you can't say this out loud, maybe, but what? talk to me, help me understand. Yo Gotti just came out the this the clip that's resurfaced and saying like bro like yeah when I before I made it money I was winning, yeah money bag I said money bag I said what well, I said yo I'm money, saying that money bag just came out saying um he was wearing fake yeah jewelry. I was wearing fake to. jewelry yeah. I was I had to fake it till I make it mm -hmm. do you think that's something that niggas could get away with How, like because you um. was essentially chasing an image behind me right you was blowing money that you really ain't have it was like bro you could have been saying I was that. authentic though. I wasn't going. I was. I was more on the authentic side. I wasn't going to fake it though. So is that if you gotta work your ass off to get this twenty, right? Yeah. When just painting a picture, me probably drop twenty. It's easy, right? For you to drop twenty, you got to put in a different amount of work. Facts. So is that really is that authenticity or is it really just chasing the image? Respectfully. I'm just was really like so I, I I see. I'm more so. See, I don't see nothing wrong with it, but it just, I just ain't see it for me. I don't think nothing wrong with faking it until you make it at all, but I just ain't around to do that wrong. But that's what I'm asking you, and I say respectfully. Because Al City a little harder. It and is. Money Bag, when he probably was saying that, I feel like he probably was still already a part in his career where that real shit was ready to come within a snap. Okay. He might was already like, he might start wearing that shit once he was like probably doing like he said he wearing that shit for do shows. He already doing shows now. That shit coming now. Yeah. So now and he, he said when he was doing shows, he would borrow it. He was like he would just borrow it from his man and give it back. All that too. I didn't did that. Mm -hmm. I'd do that before I get some fake shit. Right. Now like he said half that. of my jewelry I was wearing when I was first with your car wasn't mine. Mm. Like the biggest YBS chain right here, that was my man Al shit. Mm. That got killed. He spent thirty thousand on that and handed it straight to me. Damn. Cause he knew that. It was more beneficial with me wearing it than him. Mm. That's just how much love he had in the brand and in the campaign. Like that's how much he was like supportive. That he like look, like you know, like I know image anything. You you style at you feel me? School the gun. You got the throne basically. Like you take the, you put the cape on and keep it going type shit. Damn. That's how that was for real. That's hard. But I, yeah. my question really like, though, go even ahead. if it's even the, even if the change is real though, right? Let's be real. I feel like. If you gotta put in all this work, all this work to to keep up with a nigga who got spending money on this, right? I look at that almost like that could be faking it till you make it too, cause you it ain't fake, it's real. But it's like, bro, you put like I gotta go home so I can make this money, mm -hmm. so I can go back on the road and keep up with this nigga. What it almost like ain't like keeping up. It just like like when you is growing up and you got all this you look up to like Jeezy's and these niggas like. You listening to inspirational songs and they telling you how they did this shit. So that shit y'all like, what you call them niggas, heads in the ghetto. Who they look up to, yeah. the music and how they saying it. So that was- It's instilled in your head. It's like, I need to head. do that. I want to like, do that. Like first I'm going to stack my dough. Mm -hmm. Then, then I'm going to stack some more. <laughs> Pro shop, do my count. Like, like niggas is what you call them to rapper. So like, it wasn't like a rapper is admitting like, shit. Back then, during the time, wasn't no rapper mitten. All this fake, my man, let me hold it. Money mm. bagger said now, because where he had in his career, he got a million dollars worth of real shit, 100 million worth of real shit. See, during that time, when, when a nigga like looking up to certain rappers and like in a city we come from, it ain't like no Atlanta. It's so cruel. It's you bad. won't even make it trying to fake it down that motherfucker. Yeah, you going nah, like, for real. <laughs> you even try to fake it, it's you. over. It's over. Now, I say that all the time. I say, yo, if you. If you don't, if you popular and you from Baltimore and you try to fake, oh nah, it's over. Like, yeah, it's, it's done. You it's ain't done got you, you, you ain't got shot trying to be on some <laughs> fake shit, on some big and bad shit. That even is even going to backfire and they going to kill your ass if you faking like you this big gangster and all this, or it's going or somebody gonna pull your card and then you gonna have to really show what you bought and then like so it ain't no faking it in Baltimore for real. It's either you this or you that. It's crazy because Matt Hoffer, the nigga from New York, he got the podcast on my expert opinion. He was talking to Hitmaker. Hitmaker, two parents, rich, millionaires. He like, man, it's so cr the music was so crazy at the time where he ran away because all he listened to is this hip hop shit. And it's like, nah, I gotta do this. Mm. Like, I'm living good, but now I gotta sell drugs because that's the music, that's the, the music I'm influenced by. Facts. It's it just the music had him influenced. Like he got a rich family, but he listening to this this nigga. Somebody, he sold this, so he trying to go to school and like who got some weed I can sell. Exa exactly, that's Facts. exactly happening. And that's how it is with like street dudes. That's like that's real about it. Like niggas that ain't 
Niggas trying to do it for their guys, trying to do it for themselves. Mm. Ain't nobody trying to put no 50,000 on their wrist and be like, yeah, this is the same one me got. Nigga trying to put that 50,000 on their wrist like, yeah, I accomplished this. This that one baby had on. This Yeah, this the same one. Like, niggas trying to be real about that shit. Like, mm. But not in a, ma a, a matter of keep up. Just like, this what they inspired by. So we, we got the same goals and the same wants that these guys want. Knowing, knowing how, like you said, cruel the city can be. Yeah. We all know it. Mm -hmm. We all see it. I'm curious of why do we keep going back? Not saying we don't have to not go back at all, but it's like niggas go back and get stuck and like stuck. they want to be there. Like, nah, I'm here. This is where I'm from. And niggas <sighs> need to know. I feel like it's because it's more challenging to leave. It's more easier to stay. Woo. I saw some shit. It's almost like this shit boring, bro. This shit like it get lonely when it's grind time. Oh my god! Like you see, I got my man with me. I got one plus one with me. You see me back home plus ten. You feel me? It feel good for sure. Yeah, like so when you back home, all your dudes you you came up with from the bottom. That's where they at. Mm. So you just start missing that when you get away. So it be taking real discipline to know, like, man, look, that's for them, this for me. That working for them, I'm going to do this because in the next two years, I want to do this. In the next two years, if they think that's going to work, so be it. Mm. But ain't nothing promised in the streets but two things. Jail or death. You feel what I'm saying? That's two things for a street nigga. It's, it's not too much. Like, some people don't like to face reality or, like, bro, it's two things when it comes to streets. I mean... It could be three things, but now because all the kingpins, all of them snitched. All of them. So it's either jail, death, or snitch. Or a snitch, and, and, and your name is tarnished forever. Forever. So that's death. That's next to death shit. Facts. All I got is my name and my word. That's it. So, bro, it's crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you this, and I'm going to follow up with something else. When you was back home, did you feel like you, um, you downplayed your celebrity? Down play my celebrity. Mm. When I'm in Baltimore, I'm like downplaying my celebrity. Yeah, like you being from the city, so you know, I can go wherever I want. You know what I'm saying? I'm this one I'm from this my city niggas love me. Instead of moving militant and Yeah, no, I don't down my play. Even when I'm in <laughs> no. this No, even when I'm in this city, you still ain't gonna see me. Mm. I still ain't only way and, and lately what I've been realizing I took a little step back from is just going out to eat. That even becoming too accessible and becoming a circus. Just like where me and my friends go to eat at for years where we can go out and chill and ain't gonna see motherfuckers like that's just ain't on this type of time. Like now they even like they even what you call them in this, them them type of spots. So I even had to fall back from that. I already don't do no clubs. I don't do no clubs. I don't really I don't do no hookah. I don't do no hookahs in Baltimore, no clubs. The only thing I might do is a roof Chris. Uh, zoom me a lot something where it's like along the water and have a little just relax vibe with the guys but that shit becoming a circus so i even stopped doing that was that something and again it's outside looking in do you think you learned that from what happened with scooter do you feel like he was downplaying his celebrity a lot yeah like i learned from scooter mistakes it was some stuff some do's and don'ts that like by him rapping before me that i was seeing and that I will, I'm like, oh, I seen him doing that. I ain't going to do that. So I was talking to um, Chino, and Chino was like, you know, a lot of times you don't have that money. So I was talking about, like, yo, security and shit, right? Yeah. Moving militant, moving the right way. Like, you know, might have a bulletproof grass, but he like, bro, like, niggas can't afford. Like, yeah, niggas is popular, and right. y'all see us as these big stars, but, bro, we still, like, living. You know what I'm saying? So it's we can't move like and that's that what, And that's what I'm saying. That's what way it been from the get-go. So even when niggas saving and signing a deal, a nigga still like up against the same battles. Mm. There's nothing changed with that. Like it's nothing really changed with that because niggas signing, but niggas ain't signing and getting that lump sum of money that could change everybody around them life. Mm. You feel me? Niggas signing for exposure or just for like for a platform to eventually get it. But ain't nobody from our city really signed that I know of that got some money with so they could say, you, you, and you, and you, you ain't got to work no more. We gone. Niggas still got niggas around them still trying to figure that shit out. Damn, that's crazy. Do you think that just trying to take you back to these days, right? 
Facts. When school right before you passed, was y'all ever thinking like, bro, we gotta get out of the city, or was it still just kind of blurry? Like y'all still was just on a on a rise, on a up and up. Doing it, it was so fresh. We wasn't even like we was still like doing it for the city. Mm. We wasn't even there with it mentally, like to the point like that we need to relocate. Because at that time, we could have. It wasn't nothing that's holding us back. We ain't, ain't like we had. We ain't had the money. That's how I was like. I know we wasn't even mentally there at that time. Cause it wasn't nothing for four or five niggas to take fifteen, twenty thousand and buy a house down here for a hundred thousand. Four or five of us said, just put ten in the bucket. Yeah, we gonna get a house down to A. Like similar, like what I see, like high bridge and label. It look like all them movies. One like how they, how the type of time they on. We could have been on that. Mm. It was a gang though. It was a, it was a group of us. We was fly, handsome. Everybody was fortunate. We could have did that if our mind was on that, but niggas wasn't really, we wasn't really thinking for real. I, um, I keep referencing this Chino uh, interview because that was the closest I was able to speak of the YBS stories before Facts. I got to you, right? And there's some things I was just curious. He was saying, you know, like with that, a lot of niggas around in that time wanted to be Scooter. Facts. Right? Like a lot of niggas ain't know how to play the background. Was that the experience? No, nah, man. Hell no. Ain't nobody want to be. You talking about far as YBS guys? Yeah. Nobody wanted to be Scooter, bro. Mm. That's the biggest cap I ever heard. Nobody wanted to be Scooter. Everybody was one million percent behind Scooter. Let me, let me, um, cause I, I don't want to mess up nobody's words really quick. Let me, let me, let me make sure I got the words right. Nobody wanted to be Scooter. Let me, let me just make sure I got the words right, girl. I didn't even want to rap when Scooter was alive. It might be shows come. You talking about be Scooter. I might be in a crowd, like, with some motherfuckers around me. You don't even know that. Like, I don't even know just for his safety and, like, just his support. This is what, this is what's that. I mean, he said anybody want to be in him because that's because Scooter wanted us in him. Mm. The shit he rapping about, he trying to show. All my niggas were out in Cartier, check frames, bitch. Like, he wanted that shit in that shit. He was a team player. Mm. It never was no point like, shit, y'all gonna do this by myself. And we was like, no. Nah. It wasn't never that. It was always like, him like, no, nah, y'all come on. I'm, 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 I'm about to shoot a video, everybody. You feel me? Like, it was like that. It wasn't never no time where it was like, he wanted to do something solo. Or, These niggas don't even rap. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all they doing is investing everything into him. Mm. So why would we nigga want to be somebody they invest in everything too? From his change, from his clothes, like whenever he need studio, everything going to him. Cause we wanted it for him. Everybody seen it for him. Damn. It's crazy because that was kind of my point. I was saying it. It was like y'all almost got it. The shit we hear, right? Like yeah. even Jay-Z said this. He was like, um, I think he said somebody went down, he, he went down a hundred. We had to get that hundred, now we going back. Like, where our interest at? Kind of similar. I'm like, yo, it's crazy because we always say this is the nigga we need to push, Facts. but they don't never push it. I feel like I personally felt like YBS got that a mm. while ago, before niggas was really talking about it. Niggas was pushing Scooter. What was we? Mm. Fuck yeah, Scooter ain't. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Scooter, majority of Scooter money probably went to some shit way besides his music career, bro. Mm. His shit probably went to his mother. His shit probably went on girl. His shit probably went to like food, weed. Majority of his, his money he was making, I mean, majority of the time he was rapping, Scooter was taken care of. Mm. He had a nice amount of guys in a team that's like, even if he came outside with no money, he ain't even need the shit. Do you feel like you wish you would have got that same support? No. I don't feel like I wish I got that same support because, see, all my shit come from like, my shit go all, and that's where I got like only hope for real. When I first what you call them, only hope, that was on the type of time like I don't need nobody. Whatever somebody got to give, cool. I don't want nobody. Feel like I need them. I don't need nobody. Like ain't nobody gonna hold me up. So if y'all along, roll, cool, roll is all love. But y'all ain't. I'ma still get what I need to get. Mm. So it wasn't no more. So and I'm not a selfish dude. And it's like everybody got their own battles they fighting. So that's like, say for instance, you backing me. But today, shit, some shit you went to go cop, end up being, end up being a bad cop. I ain't gonna get mad at you or say like, feel like, damn, bro, you said you was gonna do this today. Mm. Nah, bro. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. You feel me? 
though that's my type more time i'm more like i was all like only hope man like all i need is me for real bro i got my guy this is what i'm doing it for i'm gonna hold it down but whatever y'all got to bring whatever y'all got to give even if y'all don't there's no hard feelings it's love don't nobody think, owe me nothing i think that mentality is so dope that, that just to hit just to sit down and because we never really talk like this at all Facts. for real and to hear your perspective on things is so dope man like this question i was i was contemplating about action but I, I gotta ask you know um and this is one of those hard questions talk to me about the space that you was in school to past and it was so many like just bullshit rumors out there what being so close to him and hearing people even make up shit like niggas had something <laughs> to do with it so i could take so you could take over and, and be in the light i know that had to fuck like with you, a Illuminati shit like i mean it was it was even shit because it's not true but again i just i gotta i gotta speak on it when you hear about things being in place to take him away so you could be be next and you can you can get all the spotlight how did that make you feel <coughs> during, during those times that should have come to me for real i get it but it didn't really bother me that ain't bother you at all that would fuck me <coughs> up bro i'm not gonna lie bro. it didn't really bother me because at the same token if people saying that it's real re it's real like it's real stuff going on so somebody saying like i wished it on them but i'm watching these niggas like i'm watching shit happening you feel me so that's like saying to say somebody say you you go off a bed you murdered your mother to get health to get her life insurance check mm. that would hurt but, though i'm not but gonna at lie. the same token the life insurance check you spend it on the whole family you don't even do nothing with it why would you you feel what i'm saying that's why i'm saying i'm gonna be real i'm gonna be vulnerable as fuck. that would hurt bro especially if i ain't, if i ain't do like if i'm taking care of my family Facts. from something that and, and, and niggas are saying i had something to do with it i ain't gonna lie i would what that would hurt but i, I would i you wasn't really do? i wasn't really what you comment I, I could say though like they probably was some light shit, fake page shit here and there like they probably was some fake shit here and there on some scooter was whoop whoop for scolder but that shit just be like bro i don't really get to i don't really lose no sleep well i wasn't really letting that shit bother me for real mm. I wasn't even letting that shit bother me. That type of shit was just like stupidity, even stooped to that level of thinking like a nigga that I'm talking about, I'm my man, like man, that was scrabble. I'm like listening to somebody say, you got him killed. That shit dumb, bro. That shit dumb. If you ain't got a strong enough mind to like overthink, like to not even put no thought into that, bro, you ain't this, you ain't cut out for this shit. Mm. That's how I look at it. Like, school, if you can't handle a rumor that's that stupid, what about the rumors that sh might be truth to it? Mm. You mean tell me uh, the bigger you get in your career, it might be rumors like, boy, you did that. Like, like say for instance, rumors, I, like niggas, not rumors, but dumb shit people don't know the system. Like you told why you end up home. Yeah, I was going, hey, that was another hard question. It's dumb <laughs> shit like that. I'm glad that you I, brought it up first. You feel me? It's like certain shit is like, bro, if ain't nobody like manning up and actually saying it to me, like coming to me like, boy, you's a rat. If it's a fake page in a comment or if it's like, how you get home? Or somebody assuming, like, how you get home so fast? They say they had five. Like, that shit don't really, what you call me? Mm -hmm. As long as ain't nobody, like, putting a name on it. Like, man, like, say if it's J Hill, you on your interview, like, man, school is a rat. Then I ain't got no problem, bro. It's crazy, because I talk about that all the time. Like, how I fuck with interviews because everybody got something to say on the internet. Yeah. Everybody got something to say in the absence of a nigga, yeah. right? But this, it don't get no realer than this because like every time I got it, like we face to face. face. Anything I got a question, I got an action. If Facts. I don't, that's on me. That's some sucking shit. But Facts. that's why I fuck with this interview space because like it forces you to be like a real nigga because it's like, bro, you you got a nigga face to face. If you ain't gonna ask him then, then mm -hmm. like it been times I done seen you do interviews and I ain't gonna speak on which one, but I done seen like where the interview was going and I done been like. And at some point, I'm like, man, this nigga Jay Hill keep, but it's like, then the discipline me, like, that's your job. Mm. That's what this shit about, interview to ask questions and get answers. So you got coons gonna be coons. It ain't nothing against you. It ain't nothing you doing. You got to do your interview. This is how you feed your folks. You dig what I'm saying? But it just come with discipline type shit for real. That's a great point, though. Do you think, how do you, if, <clears throat> if, 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 if we had it, 
if you had it your way as an artist, because I just asked somebody about the the media um, portraying things and instigating right. situations, right? Is it some things you stay away from, but how do you stay away from things when your job as media is to ask questions? Facts. I'm curious. You can't. Ain't no staying away from it. You got you to do your job. Mm. That's you it. Do you, your see job. How, you see how hard it can be. It, it, <laughs> You got to do But you ain't no Charlamagne. See, one thing about your shit, your shit smooth. Your shit straightforward. You ain't asking nothing that's like, on no, on, like, you ain't asking nothing that's instigating. You be asking, like, realistic questions. Yeah. But you got to do, like, Charlamagne might be on some bullshit. Like, you asking. You get the memory card out the other camera, bro. My bad. Let me just take <clears> it out. My bad. You got niggas like Charlamagne might ask some bullshit, instigating shit. Might get on there, like, and really instigate some shit up, work some shit up, like. Man, why you why your shoes so why your feet so big? Like dumb shit. You feel me? You really got you really got what you call that that interview that that asked some crazy nah, shit, starting I shit. I just wanna I, I be wanting to know the answers to the niggas that niggas be chatting about. Facts. You feel me? And I and I'm an accent. I feel like that's a part of being a, a good journalist, but also being man enough to be able to look somebody in their eye and ask something that might be they might get offended by. Facts. Like cause some, I might. Like now, nah, my actually, like yo, how did you get out? If you had five, how, like that's a that's, that's not a an question easy, you gotta answer. That's but that's not a question. That's not an easy question. <clears throat> to be like yo, so bro, I heard a nigga saying you a rat or something. Like like what the like you just asking right. nigga. <laughs> that shit ain't yeah, easy. but at the same token, that's a question that a nigga gotta be able to answer. Yeah, no nah, facts. You asking a nigga that you a nigga got ten years and got on a year, nigga like oh, bro, you had you just caught ten, bro. How the fuck you home in a year? So I'm not gonna lie. This is how crazy the world is. I ain't gonna say the street because I ain't really a street nigga. Like, yeah. I grew up in the hood, but I ain't that ain't my lifestyle. I've heard stories like, I don't know if you went in a 7 Eleven, you had a strap, the police, sing, like, it was like <laughs> clear cut, like that, like, you had the strap, I guess you went back out, and like, it was, it, the, the shit was crazy. It was no beating it. Like, it was clear cut that yeah. you had the situation. So, if you don't mind, break, let me know what the fuck happened. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the thing the handgun wasn't really my issue how not i don't you had a license or something no i didn't but the handgun that's some that's if it ain't in no if it ain't in the use of a crime that shit like a misdemeanor if it I ain't know. no robbery behind it it ain't no shooting behind it that's just a simple possess like a, a handgun not even a felony okay but wasn't you on like um i wasn't on shit charge? i wasn't on nothing at that time i ain't even have a charge okay i had Previously charged that I went all the way through the trial with and beat not guilty and expunged. Like my whole life, I done expunged everything. I done went to trial for everything. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So my shit case scenario was my record so clean and squeaky, I got a lot of leverage. Not to mention I got a good ass lawyer. So the whole time I catch my charge, I did catch it, did walk into the 7 Eleven with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a hanging on me, with a Montclair coat on, and when I zipped it, Type of gun I had and the clip I had, it was a little bit more poking out than the than the gun. So the gun zipped in, but the clip ain't go all the way in. But it was on some, like the store had got robbed. If the store ain't got robbed, I wouldn't even never got locked up. The store got robbed probably like 30 minutes prior to me coming in the bitch. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm telling my man, like, yo, hold me down, whoop de whoop, hold me down. I'm out of running here, hold me down. In the midst of all that, back and forth, I just say, you know what? I go in the store. Running in the store, and not not tucked and put away how how you is, how you supposed to be. When I see the police, I see him look like, oh, all right, cool. I'm always around police, like making sure, and I'm right. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Well, when I went back to look, I went to go ask for what I wanted. I heard freeze. So now I'm thinking a nigga joking. I'm thinking it's really like a nigga plan. So now I want to freeze. What? So now I look left and I see like a like a police uniform, but I'm still thinking I might know the police or something. That's how crazy I'm like, how ram this shit was. I'm like, what? Man, stop playing. I go to turn our way around. Now he like, don't move, don't move. I see your gun. Now I look down and I really see that it's Sean a little bit. So now I'm like, fuck. I really did just throw myself on some bonehead shit. But later on, they put the, the car, it was a car running out front of the store. And it was running in the tag. It wasn't in my car. But my last name was on the tags. We had the same last name. So when they like, this your car? I'm like, no. Nah. Because it ain't my car. You feel me? But I drove it. But they asked me, you know, being a cat. No, nah, that ain't my car. You feel me saying? But when they ran the tags, the names came back. They're like, oh, all right, this is his car. He driving this. 
took the car, found some X amount of other shit in her car, and put that with the gun. Damn. So that's what fucked me for real. Because then they gave me drug trafficking. So once I got the drug trafficking, that's a minimum of five years, no parole. Convicted felon or not, that's like a minimum of five years. So I'm fighting this shit. I got locked up in March of 2018. I'm fighting this shit all the way to June of 2019. So when I do decide to plead guilty because it's getting risky, getting ugly, my lawyer tell me, like, the chances of beating it is real too slim right before trial, day before trial. They really could have, like, took the deal off the table and I would have had to go to trial looking at, like, 30 years, red-handed for real. But they gave me the benefit of the doubt. Like, all right, you want to take it? All right, bet. So I just went on and took the file. But when I took the file, they credited me the whole time a year and some change yeah, fighting it. Yeah. And now City on nonviolent truck, nonviolent charges, you only got to do like six or seven months on a year. Mm. You don't got to do the whole 12, 24, 36, 40. You don't got to do no 60 months on five years. So that saved me. Boom. I got that. So do the math. If I'm looking at five years on a nonviolent charge. I'm Pull up the calculator because you ain't about pull, to have me looking Pull crazy. up the calculator. <laughs> if you're doing five years on a nonviolent charge, so just do the math for seven times five. How long is that? Oh, that's 35. That's 35. So I got a year and a half already on house arrest. Mm. So take that off of the 35 months. Okay. Minus 12. Oh, no. Uh, minus. Uh, minus like 13, 14. What is that? June and March. What's that? You said a year and a half. It's like 18 months. I got locked up in March and I went to prison in June of next year. I don't know, man, but I, I but follow long what you're yeah, <laughs> But you long said. story short, not to get too detailed about the calculator and the time, I got, I did all the time, and I'm still doing this shit. Mm. I'm still on parole, finishing this shit out. This shit ain't over till next year. How the fuck did you get there mentally? Because it's like a lot of shit ain't bothering you. Like, yeah. it's, niggas has been talking some, been saying crazy shit. Like what? Like, I'm just saying, this nigga saying how you get out so early. Like, but that ain't niggas. That's goofies, man. That's oh, internet God. people. That ain't no street niggas. But you had to build that. That uh, I had to build. You this had to build I, that I learned this type bro. of stuff. That's what I'm saying. It comes. It, this type of discipline come from guys that came before me, bro. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because your father's one of the that like say did like twenty. Facts. He did like thirteen. I think it was. Okay. He did like thirteen. Like he did a lot of years. You had to get this shit from somewhere. Like you like. Yeah, it just it's just more so like my what you call said, what's up, my what my father say? He basically said like the minute the minute you what you come to somebody who uh what he say, the minute he say the minute I make the minute I'm I make a brainless decision, I make somebody famous. The minute you brainless, mm -hmm. you make them famous. Damn. So the minute you just like not thinking and reacting to somebody who like don't even got $100 to their name, got no career, ain't successful at nothing they do, miserable. It just getting them fame and the platform to, to make all that. Nah, I mean, you're right, because they even say, like, down to the saying, like, I don't argue with fools because from a distance, you don't know who is who. You like, feel what I'm saying? Two fools are, if, you, if I'm arguing with you, the nigga, the, stand, the, 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 the uh, person that's standing down the block looking at us arguing, they don't know who. They look at us both, both fools. as fools. Like, well, like with Scooter, it was Lord shit going on. When he was he was coming up, that niggas was biting at him, niggas was doing hating shit, niggas was doing little shit. Like even how him and YGT fell out when they bumped heads or whatever the case may be. Like, you gotta be more disciplined. Like, you can't like me, that shit happened over a girl. Him and what you call him initial, what you call him was over a nigga getting his a bitch some flowers. She out with niggas and a nigga get her some flowers, send a picture to him, he he rampage, this the whole shit. Like, nah, bro, look. Fuck her, fuck that bitch. He can have her. He ain't even gonna, we ain't even gonna feed in toward over no bitch. Cause God, he been said, if it's about a bitch, just know I don't respect it. Yeah. So we never react to certain shit, bro. You never make it rational just reacting to just shit that'll like give a nigga light that they don't even deserve, bro. Mm -hmm. So if it ain't like, like I'm saying, I go back. If it ain't no real street nigga that's wanting, like that's standing behind what he's saying, disrespecting or made man. I can't, I can't dig in them comments, find who I would make that fake page and, oh yeah, kill. I can't do that. So I don't react to that shit. Damn. That's some, can't, that's, that's commendable. Like being from the city and just hearing shit here and there in the past and just like understanding like, bro, like you kind of, honestly, you kind of treat yourself like a star already. Facts. I'm just trying to prepare myself for what I'm ready to be. Mm. Shit. I'm trying to prepare myself for what I'm ready to be. Where would you say 
just curious, the state of like music in Baltimore is now. I I love it. <clears throat> I like it where it's at. I like where it's at. I just feel like now it ain't big enough. Mm. I feel like now that we got as many artists that we got, as hard as they is, as successful they is, from Tech, Jake, Roddy, Moose, Shorty Shorty, he don't even count because he doing bigger and better things. I love the type of time he on. Out the way of that little city bullshit on tours in LA. Wait, wait, That's wait. That's a wait. good look. You ain't about to just throw that in there, bro. Yo. You surprised, like, I'm glad we had this conversation because it's not even about the cameras at this point. It's like some just real shit. To hear you throw Shorty Shorty name in there, I fuck with Shorty because he helped me tremendously, but his freestyle shit went crazy. Fact. But like a lot of people in the city wouldn't have named him because of that situation we talking about. So the fact. fact that you even pay that respect, you're like, you you don't even look at it kind of. No, I don't look at that shit because to be honest, I be really feeling like a lot of times once a nigga accomplish this amount of shit, it be just shh. It be crabs in the barrel trying to pull you down. Nah, for real. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, I go back to the roots of this shit. Like, if a nigga, like, I ain't gonna, like, if, if, a, if a nigga did some foul shit, then he wrong and you, the streets got, hey, everybody got whatever pen they got to have on them if they did some shit. But me, I just sit back a little bit sometimes and I go a little deeper into this shit. Like, I ain't hard on you for real. Like, you could be on some type shit like sex, like something could what you call with you. And before I bash you, I'd be like, well, like, like you could say, for instance, it could be a nigga 80 pounds in here and say something wrong to you and you get up and beat him up. But motherfucker world might look at you like, man, he, he did that for, for a go viral stunt, ballistic stunt, whoop de whoop. But then I'd be like, nah, what the dude say to him to get him there? And they'd be like, man, he say, fuck this motherfucker. He got every right to. Mm. So it'd be like shit like, you more I, understanding for real. More understanding and shit for real. Like I ain't never seen nothing on on short. Like I I be hearing it, but I ain't seen it. Yeah, I mean, me either. Even when I did the interview, niggas was like, "Yo, nah, it's paperwork." And I'm like, "Bro, I ain't see that." And I'm about to accuse. And I'm gonna ask a nigga. He answered it. And it's yeah. like, you feel me? And but and then I ain't the type nigga that's gonna even spread no shit that ain't got nothing to do with me. If I ain't see, if I ain't, I ain't even gonna do. I ain't gonna rain on no nigga parade at all. And Facts. that go for a nigga. That go for a girl. A girl could be my from my city. And a nigga from out of here that happened, like, bro, what's up with this bitch from your city? She could be a stone cold bird. I'ma still give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, like, no, yeah. she good folks. Or I don't know. Yeah, or I don't, I have to I don't even know. To, I don't know. You know what I'm but saying? I ain't like, gonna rain on your parade. Yeah, like I don't have to stand. I don't, I don't gain to, nothing from that. Exactly. But it's it's crazy because I'm I'm kind of even glad that we could talk about this because a lot of, I can't talk about this with a lot of people Fact. from the city. But I feel like, dude. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He putting on for like he putting on the city, but a lot of artists ain't get to that that level. He having shows by himself. Yeah, packing this shit out, yeah. bro. That should be respect. That shit. I motivation. think it should be respected. That shit more. And I ain't gonna lie, it should definitely be. Re and and any nigga that that basically look at it like he did this. All right, but if he did this, he still look what he doing though. So how the fuck? Like that's like a nigga that's trying. That's like a that's like a nigga that's. That's like a nigga that's like safe fences in my shoes. This nigga still doing better than me with whatever assumptions around his name. So who who really got get who really ain't on they shit? Damn. You feel me? Damn. That's like six nine or for example. This nigga probably biggest one of the biggest rats or in the entertainment in the world. But look how much money that nigga still getting. So I can't get on there and talk shit about him because he got enough money to buy my whole family. I do some dumb shit. So the man, he did a foul nigga, he a fuck nigga, but he still doing some shit I'm trying to get to. Mm. So at the end of the day, you won't salute him, but it is what it is. That's what he did. He a goofy, leave him on goofy time. I'm not going to fuck with him, but that don't take away from what he had in his career or none of that shit. Mm. That don't take away from that. I would never like do no music with him, with 6 9 none of that shit. I would never do no shit with him because I, I stand for what I stand for. How? That's funny. How, but like that how, bitch rich. How that much bitch how, rich as shit. How much do you judge a nigga for doing something with him? For example, like how do me? Oh, yeah. Cause I'm about to say, like, I would interview 6ix9ine, but I'm not Facts. a street nigga. And I don't mean I gotta agree with you the fuck. Right like I would interview him. It's some niggas that I would interview here rat. He could be a rat, but like That's go to say that's go to show young boy with Nas X. I would have did that shit faster than her. <laughs> 
I know what I'm is. I know what I like to wake up next to and go to sleep with. Fact. This shit business. Fact. This shit ain't no personal shit, man. This man ain't never gonna talk on the phone. This man ain't never gonna hang out. We gonna do this music song. He gonna send that shit long distance. I'm gonna send my verse and I'm gonna get that bag and get some of them gay fans because I'm all for it. Fact. I ain't yeah. against gay. I ain't against that shit. I know what I believe in. You feel it's me? A real nigga. Hey, you gotta be. A, are we, we, why don't we just talk about confidence? Hell I feel yeah. like the real goofies is niggas that lack confidence. Because when you lack confidence, you gotta you gotta outpour it in the world so people so, so you can you gotta be convincing. Fact, right? You when you don't convinced. have confidence, I gotta be convincing so everybody can believe that I'm a killer. I'm a I'm this. I'm a real nigga. Like I gotta be so convincing Facts. in my demeanor that you think I'm a real nigga. When, right, bro. I don't give a fuck, fuck about you, what you think. Ooh, nobody else. Facts, <laughs> and that's where I be at with it. Damn, that's crazy. I don't know if you want some more. No, I'm cool. Man. Yo, um. You know what the, 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 the state of the, the music is in Baltimore? If you had to, I'm about to fuck you up. Just because just because you 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 giving me some great conversation. Top five rappers right now in Baltimore. That's easy. Oh, that's easy. In Baltimore. Yeah, coming from the city. Roddy. That's five or or just no 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 are no, you talking about, no ranking. Are you talking about ranking it too? Top five. Damn. So what I'm starting from greatest, or, or I'm starting from one, so two, or the you best. You can start from five, and it's it's current. This ain't overall yet. This current five is five men, and it's the best. Nah, one meaning oh, it's one. The best. Oh, so I'm going backwards. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five. Ah, on a rapper's tip, and that's the lead. <laughs> And it's the least. I mean, top five is still good, though. I mean, it's just a lot of rappers yeah. in the city. Yeah, it is a lot. And I can't say, because L City's so small, and it's like, it's not really like a big difference in motion. You dig what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's so small. So yeah. it's like, it's not really a huge difference in like motion. Because I can oh, see so if it was like a rapper from Baltimore. So no, no, no order. No order. Just give me top five. I say, I'll make it easy for you. You know, I'm going to say Roddy, Tech. Mm hmm. Jake, mm-hmm. Tim C the Don got that hot song, but I don't really what you call him like saying too much action from him. Mm. I ain't really seeing he talented him. though. He talented. Sure. He got pitch. he got the talent. He got the record. He so got, is you putting him in there or you not? I'm I'm talking about actually like. So are you putting him in the top five or not? I'm, I'm about to give you my demand in my top five. My All top right. five is like. Is like real life active. All right, go ahead. Give me Roddy is off. active. Roddy, Jake. Tech is Tech. active. Jake yeah. is active. Fucking Chaz. I fuck with Chaz. We Chaz, put Chaz in there or not? Yeah, Chaz that. I like Chaz. Okay. OTR Chaz. OTR Chaz. Yeah. Be, uh, uh, Roddy. Roddy. Yeah, yeah. So we got Roddy, Tech, Jake, Chaz. My man, and I'm going my man Jizzle. My man NFL Jizzle. He from my neighborhood. He coming. He talented. And I'm sure enough later, you're going to be wanting to interview him, too. So where would you put him at? Where would you put yourself at? Oh, you was including me, too. You you, you a bottom? You nigga, you one of the hardest oh, bottom I thought you was excluded. I thought you were saying, like, right now, besides me. So if you say me, of course, I'm going to say. Skull, but I ain't going to. ain't. Yeah, I'm going to say. Jake. Tech. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. I say me. I'm going to say Tech. Cause I like how Tech got his shit like real perfect. Tech real like all around got his shit in yeah, order for merch <laughs> to how he consistent. That nigga going crazy. Tech be motivate me. You feel what I'm saying? Tech and Roddy, they they my they really my two biggest motivators in the city right now. Tech, whatever you doing, nigga, keep doing. Keep that doing, shit. It. nigga. You feel that what I'm saying? Shit but Tech, is... I be feeling like he just outgrew this city so much and so long ago. I be feeling like he need a bigger city. And I don't know mm. what city, if it's Houston, Atlanta, but Baltimore, you got too much talent. You didn't accomplish too much. You got that motherfucker too much or not to keep sitting yeah. down there now as we getting older and you finally catching that Techman rapping private for everybody from Baltimore. He was rapping when Pioneers from my hoodie was, said he was rapping before I even didn't even know how to get behind a mic and say go. I have been saying him rapping want- dudes like G-Rock. Yeah. So to say it now, I'll be like happy for tech because it's like you deserve that shit. You stay down for that shit. Well, it's Roddy too. Both of them two niggas in that same boat. Like you deserve that shit. Y'all niggas stay down. I think it's time to go. So Scola, Tech, Jake, Roddy, Chaz, or 
your man. Because we got Scola, Tech, Jake, Roddy. I might be forgetting somebody, too. Because who else in the city early rap? I be forgetting. I mean, you got Band Hunter, Izzy. Izzy, Izzy ain't. Want... Izzy ain't. Izzy down here. He, he ain't. Nah, even... but he from the... I'm, nah, like he, he from cameras... the city, but I don't think Izzy be tripping all that music shit. Keep it 100. I mean, it's just your opinion. I'm saying, I'm just, I'm just putting out names. You got, uh, shit, Shorty Shorty. You got, uh, niggas, that's Karen. You got Moose. You got, um, it's I a said lot of Moose. Niggas. I said Moose. Uh uh. Uh uh. You ain't say Moose. Oh, so, Moose. Scola, Moose, Tech, Roddy, and Jake. Top five. Scola. And we talking about right now. Right now, yeah, yeah. Because Moose Golden. Always like, like right Moose, now, Moose, yeah, yeah, Moose goaded, but I'm saying, like, right now, physically, if you get on a gram or if you're talking for within the last month or two, just who you've been, who Niggas been watching, that's active making music right within now, the la- when th- this quarter, no, active, yeah, I mean, school, nah, yeah, because Moose is making music now, yeah, yeah, so we ain't, you ain't about to get out of that one, he's making music right now, no, nah, he making music right, right now, right? So, give me your top five active artists from Baltimore, right? I'm now. still gonna say Roddy Tech. Then I'll probably say me to keep it 100 okay. with you. Because I'm honest. Them niggas is consistent. They working. All right. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, I say Moose. Moose? It's hard. I say Jake. Wait. Who did you say? Say it again. Tech? Jake? No. You said, I said Tech, Roddy, I said Tech, you? Roddy, me, Moose, Jake. All right. I'm up. So we finally got through that. Make it harder. Top three all time. In Baltimore? All time. Oh, I'm going to say me. I'm going to say me. And I go for any and any by all the rip. Okay. And I ain't the rain on nobody parade or nothing. I just feel like what I bring to this shit is just total different. Okay, you who else? Me. Scooter. Uh Uh-huh. Moose. That's my three Baltimore all time? pioneers. You smoking dope. Who you going to say? All time? You talking about some shit before my time? All time. How do you? 28. Yeah, nigga, you can have this conversation all so time. So who you going to say? Let me hear your best three. Best three? I, I got to go. Um, Fuck his name. Smash. Hey, I'm sure what you know, mean. Man. I'm Smash. all time. Smash no? that. I can't lie. He had a radio right, banger, but he ain't had. Track. I'm talking about, listen, I'm going to say all the time. But I'm I, feel like he, I feel like he he, he really put, if it, if it wasn't. Top it, 10, bro. I feel like if it wasn't, smash, walk, so Scooter can run. <laughs> I feel like he really I wouldn't was, say that, No, bro. no, I wouldn't I'm tripping. I mean, I might be, That's I mean, that might, be a, that might be a reach. That might be a reach. Smash was more so, bro, on a like, a way, way different wave than the young, than you putting smash with the young and generation smash, I say was more on the Teflon Don. But G-Rock. I'm saying all time. I feel like he, he just like kind of. But like, I can't say. I'm only gonna say all time. Well, I say me, Scooter, and Moose all time because I feel like us three probably accumulate the most, mo, the most money and streams in Baltimore but it's throughout now. career. But like even like I say, I grind and I respect that. But I feel like we can't knock our. Ancestors and niggas I ain't that came saying that, but I only know one. I can't say nobody all time that I only know one song from. Okay, I only I mean, know that. I can't lie. Okay. I don't know nothing I, else. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. You know more than that. Um, no, not that many. <laughs> no, nah, not that many. <laughs> he tried shit on me. Not, I don't know not no that more many. than that. So you would say K Swift an artist? K Swift is a she a DJ? DJ? No, I wouldn't. I would. You said what? Club yeah, Queen, nah, nah, that's that was, not like she a, was a, that was, a, that's a not artist. an artist. I wouldn't say artist. No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't say artist. So, okay, okay. I would say, you know who I would say? Who? Los? For sure. I'm going to say <clears throat> Los because he he broke, he, he opened up so many doors, bro. Like, I'm not not saying y'all <clears throat> niggas rap the same, but I'm just saying when I'm thinking of Los all the time. Los do got to get his flowers. He opened, he, he opened doors for niggas, bro. Shout out to Los. Los do to give it give his flowers, but... Los what Los was like, he still don't give me what Moose and Scooter give me to no, Baltimore. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not taking nothing. I get what you're saying. I'm no, saying not to I take see. away from us, but comparing like Los. But I wouldn't compare y'all two. But when I say top three all time, I'm I'm just thinking about Baltimore in general. Artists that's 
in general. You can't name yeah. go without maiming. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's See, Los was a little bit before my time. I was a kid too when Los was doing this thing. I probably was like ten. I wasn't really. That's fair. That's fair. I don't really know. I, I don't know that. one song from Los, but I just know how much talent he got. When I, I hear him or watch him or we do a song or just from freestyles. Yeah, yeah, but I don't no, know. I think he's one of the biggest culturally. That's when I think of top three. I feel like Los. No, culture. Like no. What do you mean lyrically? Well, if we're going to say culturally, he. Lyrically, not culturally. No, like you I'm gonna say culturally because he was one of the first. Have you ever have like all due respect? You was on Funk Flex because me brought you right. Facts. He was Los on by was himself. on fucking. Uh, he was doing the Five Fingers of Death with Sway by himself because of him. He was doing. He was rapping with Diddy because of him. Mm -hmm. and, and I say it with all due respect, but I'm saying like Facts. so. When I'm saying top yeah, three, flowers. yeah, I ain't compare him to you. Or I can understand Los being in your that's, top And I don't three, know though. none of his songs, respectfully. Now, but since you saying Los in your top three of Baltimore Goats, I can't argue with that. Okay. But I can argue with Smash. Oh, I, I ain't mad at that. I heard um, G-Rock was crazy, too. I, G -Rock, I, I don't know too much G-Rock all the time, yeah, yeah best. But you ain't put him in there? Because it's like, it's different all about, it's different meanings in my all time. G-Rock ain't never do no shows and shit. He ain't never had no songs like that. I wouldn't know. That, he was more underground. Okay, I wouldn't know. I See, wouldn't we know. almost went industry with this shit. We can do a concert like if it, like say that's true. We almost went like industry with this shit. Like if our city was bigger to the point and we was doing arena shows, nah, facts. That'd be word for word. Nah, you're right. You're right. Now, but and all I'm saying is, with all due respect, because you are right. But can we not? We can't ignore the progression that like facts, these, I feel like facts. these guys opened those doors, doors so facts. you guys can. G Rock is my wish to come though. That's like my idol with music though. Okay. He was from my neighborhood. I feel like what nobody lyrically better than him. Nobody had more swag than him. Like when he was rapping, like that's who I really like. Certain songs, I might even try just go sounding like. I might no, I think about you. him. I heard about it. I don't really know too much about. It. I heard. I heard he was. Yeah, like, G Rock was one of the best to ever do that shit. Yeah, and the only thing I said, it's like trying to compare album sales, album album sales now compared to then. Like then, it's not. It's, it's not, not because be the same. it's never going to be the same. See, G Rock Los, I can't argue with them at all. All right, so G Rock Los, I'm trying to dig deep in the crate. So. Top three, so I would say I don't know what you. I'm gonna put Scooter in there. Facts, cause Scooter again paved the way. Nick is, Diddy wasn't posting like that's on. huge. Come on, that shit huge. So we, so I think Scooter can, died and was on CNN, bro. So I, I think we that can agree to Los, G Rock, and Scooter. Facts, I get, I, I can't argue Please. with them three. I can't argue with G Rock, Scooter, or Los. Los, just. I don't like know none said, of his songs, but I don't know none of his songs, but he was the, special. The, the, the what you call him, he he the mark he left in his name and music alone, being from our city alone was like, ain't no rapper not gonna know Los. Yeah. And where he from is what we so I can I got what you call him that. You feel what I'm saying? G Rock, I ain't gonna argue with that at all. Scooter, I can't argue with him at all. Scooter really like yeah. when YBS, what you call him, I feel like he opened up the door for everybody doing music right now. Yeah. Nah, for Facts. real. Like Scooter. Because, like... Scooter motivated me. It wouldn't even be no me without bro, Scooter. Bro, Scooter was really Baltimore to the core. core. Like, Bird Flu... Like, Facts. it was... Like, it was like... The shit they be talking about everywhere, that was Scooter. Scooter. Like, that shit was... That give me chills thinking yeah. about it, man. That shit. Every time, I promise you. Damn, bro. Scooter was something special, boy. Damn, bro. Yo, isn't it crazy how... I don't know about you. Now, we've been rapping, too. My bad, bro. No, you good. We were talking, but we pulled up. We had long overdue. Yo, when you get the Tech, Roddy, and Scola on one track, I did, it, did you feel like the city felt? Did you feel like how we feel, felt? You was on it. Right. Like, we felt like, nah, this is insane. Facts. This is crazy. Nah, but you know what's funny? When I did the song, and this one was like they put me in a tight spot because I pulled up to the studio and White Boy was telling me what he had going. And Roddy was in there and he played a song and he played Bus Fed. Mm. The song was done. I had to add my shit. Tech was already on the hook. Roddy was already on the, on the verse. So my verse had to go behind Roddy's. Mm. So I'm in there and I'm just listening like, dang, y'all want me to get on there? You, boy, you... You put me in a tight spot, white boy. Boy, these nigga burnt this right here, boy. So, so now I got like, okay, now like, go ahead, like, all right, pull it up, like, now I'm listening, and I'm like, 
Roddy went too crazy to come behind and do any horse playing with. Yo. I'm like, <laughs> I'm listening to the detective. He said, I told the label, just give me a check. And I'm talking to the detective, protect the protect. I'm like, damn. When I heard, I'm like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, you burnt that, boy. God damn, you burnt that. We in the studio, I'm telling you, you burnt that, boy. So White be like, yeah, let's go. Just jump on here. So I'm like, shit, cool. So the only thing was in my head when I was getting on there is just raw. Just come raw. And the beat was trapped out. The song was trapped out. Like, so I'm like, I'm just coming raw. I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't doing no melodic. I ain't doing no Lord. No, I'm coming straight raw. Like what the city really love me for me to do that I don't do enough because it's not money in that. Come like on, it's man. not as much money in it like that as it is in this in this club single shit. You yeah. dig what I'm saying? Like, see, I be tripping is my biggest song right now. But it's other songs like on that tape say fans is all on me. How I'm just straight rapping. Intro, first song you can hear, and I'm rapping. But it don't hit as like. It don't hit as hard as singles, bro. So on a feature, I always burn features with lyrics because I don't got to do the hook. It's, it's already half the battle. Like the hook done, I just got to talk about what they talking about. It's easier to go into a song. That's like you telling me, you giving me the title of a book. So I already know, I can, if you telling me the book is called Stay Out of Jail, I know I'm going to write a book about anything about staying out of jail. Mm. It's easier when you already got the title and you already got the cadence, like the subject. No, so motherfuckers always be like, Boy, you burnt that feature. You burnt that feature. That's because features are a little more easier than when you're trying to make a record. When you're trying to make a single, you think about kids, girls, boys. So you try to hear every genre sometimes. Like, and it sometimes don't, you you overthink. You overthink for real. It's crazy because like I um like I'm trying to be as respectful as possible. When I hear your music, I definitely hear like for the genres, like for the Facts. niggas. Like it ain't really like real lyrical. To yeah, me, it ain't lyrical. To be honest, but. I, th I thought you did a great job on, on that song. On Busfit, right? Yeah, I, like, when I would listen to it, I told my man, I'm like, bro, I ain't, I'm just being honest, like, I don't really look at Scola for, like, the type of lyric lyricists, but he I, held his own. Yeah, and that's you the like, thing. You did, your, you did your thing. And that's one of the things I really pat myself on the back, because I ain't no lyrical nigga, but I can hang with anybody on a song from our city that they be thinking might be, like, compare me to. Nah, it was good. Whatever he on, I can get on that. I'm versatile. No, you did good. You, did you feel me? Like, and I, and I ain't saying it because you really, I don't have to. Like, no, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Everybody was saying, like, my verse was, was the coldest for real. And the I coldest? felt that it was the coldest. Everybody was saying, my Roddy verse. shit went, the protect shit was just crazy. No, nah, but listen, Roddy yeah, shit was hard. Roddy though. shit was, was, was more like that ball right there, them balls was fire. But when, it's, when it comes to, like, actually riding in a car and you listen to it from every verse once you get to my verse it's gonna hit you a little bit more different Roddy shit might hit you like you'll stutter a little bit you'll be trying to catch up keep up my shit if i ain't impatient i won't even go in mm. when COVID came around and slowed up the shows i guess we was back selling bloating yeah. like it's just like straightforward i'm yeah. not it ain't really too yeah, hard to shit. understand like i think i made like a dub this week i didn't even count but that's on the low end mm. How the blues in my pocket. This shit that's going on that I'm just stepping the mic like probably had twenty thousand on me. I ain't count. I think it's fair to say, just in respect, I wouldn't come. I, I ain't. I don't think I compared any of. I don't. I don't think I said which one was harder. Right. I don't think I did that. But see, I be having that because you know, like with Roddy, salute to Roddy and anything he got going. Salute to Tech. My fuckers try. They try revving and salute everybody and like uplift the vibe. And that's what I don't like. Yo, you you dig what I'm saying? Because there's no point in dividing this shit when you got cities like Atlanta and everybody getting this shit. Sure. Yo, Let's just get this shit together. And it's crazy because I was talking to Moose, right? And Moose is like, yo, it's crazy because back then, with him and, with him and Scooter, he was like, yo, the city did that. He was, like, he was like, bro, we ain't had no problem. Like, no he was problem. like, the city did that. No problem. But sometimes it'd be the streets or, or motherfuckers are try to do that, but it take the artists to be disciplined and level-headed. Like, bro, why I'm going back and forth with you for? You ain't did nothing to me. I ain't did nothing to you, did I? All right, let's get some money then. What the fuck? Like, they saying you the best over East. They said I'm the best over West shit. Let's be the best in the city. Facts. Like, that's how I go. And there was dudes like me around school to that. Even with the YG Tay, like, if you seen, if you go far back, like, bro, y'all fighting over a bitch. We ain't doing that. I know Tay personally schooled her. We meeting up, bro. Meet me at Mar Dama, bro. Listen, y'all just fighting over a girl, bro. That shit is dead, bro. Y'all get money on y'all side. We get money. 
ain't no ain't no ain't no need to put this shit in in harm's way over no girl bro mm. that's so and that's when i did this song with tay that's when i did it's a gold gears in did the that bring any like smoke like was there any backlash from that uh i think what you call was a little bit like, i think school to tell like was a little what you come about it but he knew that i was a leader though and he was like, he was for my, he was for my vision too. Like I was for his, he'd been an artist. I got to talk to him and say, nah, bro, let's do this, bro. And he'd be like, all right, you right, old school. Like he, he was for me too, though. Like I was for him. It wasn't never like he had a head so big where I tell him something, he like, like not listening. I could tell him something like school, no, no. We ain't gonna take that way home. We gonna go this way. Boy, they be pulling shit, boy. Don't we gonna, I'm gonna go this way. Take us this way. Turn around, go this way. And he'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, he right. Do what he said. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like he was never really against nothing for real. Yo, this interview is specifically for like our culture and our city. Uh, people are going to watch it because I know mm -hmm. your your range is farther than that. But speaking of that and thinking of like how we we speaking so much in the city, do you feel like that be the back? That be the where niggas go wrong a lot because you've been to Atlanta, you've been to a lot of cities now. Yeah. In Baltimore, I feel like we we so that crabs in the barrel. We so compare each other to each other, but it's like, bro, this is a small market, and when people looking at. Niggas not even looking at Baltimore. They looking at us as a region. Baltimore, DC, DMV. Like, yeah, you feel me? Like, do you think we put ourselves in a box too much? Artists or artists do? Hell yeah. Cause niggas not look. I don't know. I don't. I don't. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't like niggas ain't just looking at like niggas is looking at that region. DMV. And y'all, we talking about hottest in the city. Facts. Like, yeah. Nah, I mean, see, yeah, that's how I go. Like. And when the label, when I got label representatives I talked to, he be like, man, it's really like, when I'm talking about Baltimore and shit, like, it's nobody out your way in the DMV. <laughs> he don't never say Baltimore, like, get detailed or specific. He just say out your way, meaning like D.C., Maryland in general, the whole Maryland. Mm. He like, man, it's really like nobody, like, I think it's time for you to go, man, and, 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 and head down south type shit, man, and, and, and spread your wings, because, like, your city, I mean, y'all, y'all, what you call him? Like, he don't even say your city. He say, yeah, all right, man, like. And ain't really nothing shaking there. Mm. And I'll be like, what you mean? Like, I mean, in D.C., like, he, he straight go to say D.C., it ain't yep. nobody. Maryland ain't nobody. Even in Virginia, it ain't nobody. Mm -hmm. And ain't really no artists down there that's, like, shaking up the room right now. You got household names like Glizzy, Wiley, that's Fat Trail locked up. You got household names that's around. But speaking of right now, we ain't really got no no real artists right now that's job like Curry and shit. Yo, without putting nobody down, but yeah. I'm just curious because certain niggas, and I talk the most about this, certain niggas are the blueprint. Facts. Granted, niggas is lit. Like Roddy, Tech, niggas is lit. Facts. All homage to them. But like, do you feel like sometimes you get overlooked or like you've been out for too long almost where niggas forgot about you? Like, bro, come on, man. I'm still, like, come on. Let's not see, forget. See, I only do that, though. But when I do think like shit like that, I think it's because... I ain't changed my people, place, and things though. Damn. I be like, it's all, it's all cool and fine and Danny for it to be a new hot wave in the city, cause it's like, it's always gonna be a new sheriff in town. Mm. Like you look at any city, it's always gonna be somebody that's catch a viral moment, get a record. So I don't never really be like, get too caught up more on that. I just be more so when they do be comparing me like that. I just be like, but bro. I'm bigger than this city. They can have that shit. Baltimore, I done already paid my way. I done earned enough respect. So, of course, a nigga that's rocking a million dollars worth of jewelry now or signing a million dollar deal, they, he going to have it for the time. That's cool. And like, But like you said, though, almost, because really, they bigger than the city. They bigger you, than the you city. You even said, like, tech, like. Way bigger than way, the city. Like, and, and there's nothing against Baltimore. It's yeah. just, Roddy, tech, like, these niggas is way out of this world. So, out of here yeah so now i get it. but i'll be because I, I was asking moose because i'm like yo it's like let's and i'll be wanting raw in them but i'll be saying another reason why i'll be saying tech and them bigger than, and they should go now right because they at their peak where they on fire right i've been at that peak like three four years ago right mm. and lost everybody procrastinating Damn. so if it was eight of us it was down to two of us from just like jail to dine. Not really nobody went out on no sad shit, told or nothing like that. Really just either a lot of jail time or just a little bit or dying. And I know I know you're a real nigga. I know you're a street nigga. But honestly, having all that shit happen around you, bro, and, and, and not too too long apart, how did that make you feel? Like, for real? 
Man, man. Well, I be really having to talk. I be talking to myself so much, bro. Lately, I be talking to myself, and I just be always lecturing to myself for real. Like it might be like a time where shit ain't going my way, but I just be always like, no, nah, that's what this shit about. Mm -hmm. I ain't signed up for shit. Like God going, God ain't really put you in position for shit to go every time your way. Sometimes you gonna have to go out your way. Mm. and go in an uncomfortable stage mm. and that's what i've been telling myself lately like and, and it'd be my pops it'd be dude like my pops around me role models and shit and like just that nigga's special. like he like he didn't tell me another thing he didn't tell me like son like look you don't got all day you a rapper you feel what i'm saying like fuck the street shit which you was now you're a rapper you've been doing it for years you didn't make good money off of it enough to employ people Motherfuckers around you, you gotta go for what was was right. Not taking away from nobody else you know around you, but you got street dudes in the streets gonna be dudes in the streets. Mm. They ain't gonna see your vision, so they just might hold your vision up. Cause you try and do it with them, but you gonna run out of time. So with telling myself that, like looking at my son and already they're missing out on time with him, leaving him, looking at my mother, my brother, like everybody, like I'm a I'm a team person. I don't ever really be doing shit for myself. Like, even if the day of tomorrow, I get a check for 100000 I ain't looking at that check like it's mine. I'm looking at that shit like for the ones, like, that's in my corner. We good. That's where I be at with it. Nah, for real. Because you got to. Because you got niggas. And I be telling um specifically Seven, like, you got niggas that's in your corner. It's like, my whole, like, like granted, I'm trying to get big from this. But at the same time, it be a part of my success. It's really trying to prove the niggas beside me right or prove me right so they can feel better, right? Like, cause it's like, if I'm doing this and we ain't really getting no real money from it, right? I could continue to sell you a dream, but now it's like, I just wanna prove to you that I, I'm right. You get what I'm saying? And so that's you what get, I wanna do. Exactly. It's like, I just need to prove to my team facts that it's gonna happen. Facts. Because I can't keep selling y'all dreams. But it ain't even more so that I wanna prove it to them. It's just that I want to catch the last ones I got before they, before, mm. bef like, before reality sink in. You feel what I'm saying? And it's almost like, I don't even, I can't even like, now how this shit is, you guilty by association. Mm. So if you ain't on this music shit as much as I'm on it, it's like, it ain't no love lost, but I got to love you from a distance. Because now they judging book by cover. This Nick, this guy right here, or say fences with you and your friend, you can leave here and do other shit, but they with you every day doing this. Mm -hmm. They gonna go down with you with the other shit you're doing from associating with you. Nigga, I had some one person on my team and I was like, yo, like I had to tell them like certain things we can't do, like just dealing with each other in the Facts. team. You know what I'm saying? Cause if something go wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like, he bro, you it come it. to me. And that's gonna trickle that like people need to understand that. Like, right. bro, heavy be the hit. Have you be the hitter with a crown? Facts. You know what I'm saying? So even if even if outside of that, if I'm doing something outside and I'm just doing something crazy, or if they doing something crazy, it's gonna come to me. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Same. If I'm doing something crazy, going like, oh damn, you work with him? Like, yeah. you know, nah, and you're right. Association. No, nah, you're right. You're guilty by association. Bro, I, bro. So it don't really be the prove it don't really be the prove them. It just be really to save them for real, bro. See, but I, I think that's because you you was in the like, I came from the trenches. Yeah. But I would like I would be lying if saying if I was immersed in the trenches. I'm not, I know I played ball, I went to school. I what you feel me? So I can understand for you, can you lost a lot of close I lost I lost a lot of people on slight like, type tip, you know, but then I lost a lot of people that's just from neighborhood growing up that people don't even know that. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, so I can understand you saying to save them. For me it's different. It's like I really want to cuz I only got niggas you got people you try and prove that that the dead them all they ain't got to worry about getting booked or going to jail, so but they, 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 they you can, can feed they can your family. I want right. you to be able to feed your family. Fact, you got folks that basically the next five, ten years, you ain't got to worry about them two things happening. But you, they the people like you still want to prove. See yeah. me, I got friends like bro. I want y'all get on this, but it's like I can't have y'all on this because financially, I ain't ready to be taking care of you, 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 you. Because I niggas ain't there yet. Facts, really, to be honest. Facts. It take a lot to take care of your damn self. Like, so niggas, niggas see you are lit and they be like, oh, now I got the jewelry. Like, bro, yeah. this is a part of work. Yeah. I can't take this off and get it to you so you can live good. Nah, I need this so I can get in more rooms. But at one point, I was doing that. Mm. Like, before I got locked up, I was doing that. And, like, all the guys I was doing it with, they died. You feel me? Like, all, like, my younger friends from my neighborhood and shit, 
I would always come out here. I already had a Sprinter van, and I would always just tell them niggas, like, man, just come on. Pack a couple outfits. If you ain't even got that, still come on. We meet right here, just getting a Sprinter. We'll figure that shit out when we get down there. So I might come out here with about, like, he'd tell you, he used, to be, he used to get us down here, my man. He used to get us down here, and, like, ain't nobody need no money. Just for me to have, like, niggas out no harm's way. And right, and like, had my guys with me, where so I look around, it just make me feel better as a person to look around and see like the guys around who I'm doing this shit for, even if they don't doing nothing, but just, just like my comfort, my protection, just like my edge, just my more eyes for me. It just be feeling better to have the ones with me, my real friends with nah, me. For real. But I went on house arrest when I got locked up, and everything went left. Within like two months, I lost like five friends. Like five day ones where I was like, before I got locked up, what a day? All in like week span, week span, week span, week span. Like shit just backfiring from just hood shit reality. You feel me? So now I just be like, bro, I don't really be more so caught up more. I be really like, I really be to the tip. Like now I be trying to get new friends. It don't be that new friends replace my old friends, but new friends that's on the right positivity and product. Like minded individuals. And like minded mm -hmm. that. We can run up some money together and I ain't got to worry about you once we, you leave me crashing out for a gun charge or nothing. No, because you're going to have to be, you're going to have to play a role. You got, you got a role to play now. So that's why I be like, besides my friends, I be even like trying to bring other motherfuckers in that got a vision that I can relate to, that's, that I know will stay down and have patience and trust the process with me with this shit. Yo, Scola, I'm not even going to lie. I was not expecting this conversation. Facts. This shit was great, bro. I appreciate you for pulling up. Are you making I cause we didn't even get a chance to talk about music. Are you making music right now? What Hell you, like, yeah. What's going on? You dropped, I just, you just dropped something. I just dropped an album called My Apologies. I got a single that's going stupid right now back home that I'm ready to start pushing down here called I Be Tripping. That shit going stupid. That shit viral. How is the music career going now? Like, it's good. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, it's, it's good. Like I said, I know what I know now, so I ain't just. Wasting much money as I was then, wasting a lot of time as I was. I'm like properly strategizing and executing shit. And I ain't got too much baggage. You still need 10 hours in the studio or it came no, down? It came way down. <laughs> I might get in there for three, four hours, make too hard ass songs. Isn't now. it crazy how looking at like back then where you was and like where you at now is like, man, I remember. Yeah. Or I remember when I wanted, I mean, for you, like, you probably like, I remember when I wanted this type of chain. Look at Facts. it. Facts. Hell yeah. Damn. That's crazy, bro. Well, um, all love, bro. Appreciate you for having if, me, bro. If I can support you in any way, bro, like on some real shit. Like, Likewise, though, nah, for sure. Um, Cause I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like I grind for this, bro. Fact, I see you. Like, you ain't got to tell me. And niggas, I'm not gonna lie. Like niggas like you, Tech, Rowdy, Jake, and the city, be, like- it, Not to cut you off, but what? it'd be a lot of people want to interview me, but I'm more like about like how serious you take your shit too. Yeah, you supposed to. I ain't no nigga just straight anybody that's doing interviews like, oh, I want to do interview and jumping on it. I'm gonna watch a couple of the shit, probably see what you said or asked, and be like, no, nah, this ain't no platform I want to be associated with. It's but it's and you know it's crazy that we on that, that topic, bro. I promise you about to wrap up. But you are judged by the work that you put in. Facts. Before I got to this level, I used to always look like, man, niggas be dick riding. Niggas only fuck with the same niggas. You judge and by the work you put in. They only fuck with the same niggas because that's the caliber they on. Facts. So of course I'm gonna go to Funk Flex. Facts. So if I'm doing freestyles, I'm a little platform. Yeah, I'm growing, yeah. but I gotta put Funk Flex been doing this for twenty plus years. So Got his name is Stamp. Stamp. You feel me, bro? You've been working. Keep working. Facts. So what happened was, but that's what I was about to say. Like, I see the interviews I'm doing now, and they're like, yeah, I, I did bigger artists, but I'm not gonna lie. I'd be lying to say like it feels good when I can get the. The people that mean something from our city, because I remember when I was just starting and everybody was talking about them. Mm -hmm. So to be able to sit with them, it's like, bro, nah, you 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 deserve you work hard for that. Facts. So I appreciate it, man, for real. Um, I only got nothing else for the niggas that don't know, man. Let them know how to follow you and all that shit. Follow me on YBS underscore YBS underscore Scola S K O L A. Go get my new album I just dropped called My Apologies and turn into my new single. I be tripping. Baltimore stand up. Shout out to all the young ones, the future, the ones doing their thing, who probably feel like don't nobody know you yet. Stay down, just keep believing in yourself, and don't get discouraged. Have your confidence when don't nobody even got confidence for you. Mm -hmm. Just keep going for real. 
You know the fucking vibes. Mr. J Hill Podcast, YB Escola. Listen, the shiners, nigga. This shit shiners. crazy. Niggas is still shining. You feel me? For life. It's a wrap. We out. This shit, man. That was good.